Hi there and welcome to Logic Labs. We're going to talk about LEDs. First off, this is an LED. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. And as you can see here, this one's red. So I don't know if you can notice it very well, but there's a little flat spot here. Let me move this in. All right, so we have this nice little flat spot. And you can see inside here that there is a cup or an anvil and a little thing in here, a stirrup, shall we say. The anvil, the big anvil over here on the left side, is the minus, and this here is the plus. So you see that flat spot? Yeah, got it looking good. And the short wire is the minus, long wire is the plus. And so what we're going to do is... I'm going to cut these here about three quarters of an inch, three eighths of an inch. Why three eighths of an inch? Glad you asked. Here's your breadboard, and that's actually a little too long, so I'm going to cut this a little bit more. There we go. So that is what you're going to do three eighths of an inch. Yep. Yeah. All right. So. Now, I'm going to rotate this here. See the flat spot right here? I got that flat spot. I'm going to put it all the way over here for right now, for demonstration purposes, and these two slots. This white thing is a breadboard. It's used for prototyping and developing. I have some wires here. Here's a red wire. And here's a 9-volt battery. Now this here is, uh, we're only going to do this once with this type of circuit. Do not do this in normal circumstances. I'm doing this just to make a simplified circuit. This here is a resistor. And we're starting from, I'll start this way. Left, just like we read numbers. So brown, brown, red, brown, black, red, and gold. Brown is one, black is zero, and red means add two more zeros to the end of it. Gold is 5%. So that means that the device can be off by 5%. What's 5% of a thousand? 50. So this could be 950 or 1050. And I'm gonna plug this in here. You'll see why they're doing all this. Plugging this in right here. All right. Here's a 9-volt battery. And here's my 9-volt battery right here. And we're going to plug this in right here. And then right here, and we have nine volts. All right, what is happening is light emitting diode is like a special light bulb. It works in one direction. So if I turn this around, it doesn't work. And the reason for the this 1K ohm resistor is because the LED runs on a proper voltage. Red LEDs run about, at about 2 volts. If you put more than 2 volts in them, you're going to smoke them and you're going to let the little magical genie out that I talk about all the time. That magical genie is a one-wish genie. All electrical parts have the one-wish genie in them. When you let the genie out, the genie goes poof, appears in a cloud of smoke, and you say, uh-oh. And the genie always grants you one wish. And that wish is, I wish I didn't do that. Yeah, you're going to hear that quite often. All right, here's a red piece of wire. I'm going to strip it. This here is 22 gauge wire. So you see the notch right there. And I'm going to hold it perpendicular. And perpendicular. And I'm going to pull up a blue piece of wire right here.
and I'm cutting them at about three eighths. So there's about three eighths here. So to show you why that's three eighths, again, because that's about how deep you want it to go in your board. Now here, yeah, I'm going to show you this here, the board with the parts pulled off in a little while. But let's talk about breadboards and LEDs. So now you know how an LED works. The resistor dropped some voltage, so there's a 9 volt battery. I said this takes 2 volts, and that is dropping how much? 7 volts. And you can figure out the current there, because going through that, the LED likes to run at more than 5 milliamps to a maximum 20 milliamps. So you can do the math of what the resistor would need. The math would be this voltage minus this voltage, which would be 7, and then that resistor would be calculated by the voltage of 7 volts divided by 20 milliamps. I know that 1K is, puts it at about, oh, about 14 milliamps, which is a nice number to run at. Okay, so now we know about LEDs. Now let's talk a little bit about breadboards. All right, clean up your wire cuttings and strippings. I will ask you to do that. If you don't, I'll have you come back into class, into the lab and do that. So I'd appreciate not having to have to do so. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this wire here in the red bus. Like that. I'm going to connect this into here, this blue wire. Now, this here is a breadboard with the back pulled off, all nice and shiny. So what's happening is you have a connection from here to here. This one stripe is all connected. And then this one stripe is all connected. These little stripes right here, so these stripes, oh, sorry, these stripes right here are all connected. So that's, this This one is going to be the blue. This one's going to be the red. And then we get into the middle zone. The middle zone are little stripes. They go five places from here to here, would be here to here. See this gap right here? That's the same gap right here. Then you have these over here, which is just these over here. And then we have another long stripe. We have another two long stripes, which are these buses. Now, some breadboards have a gap cut right here. So you got to be careful. If your bus doesn't work properly, check and make sure that you have a gap. Because that's, that's most likely your problem. So you'll take and make a little jumper and connect the jumper. You put a jumper from here to here. All right, so we're going to take this blue wire right here, and I'm going to hook it into the red, all the way over here. So what's happening? We have power going down the red bus, all the way to the end. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Stripping another wire right here. That made it a little too long. I'm going to cut it short. Pull this out. And connect it here. So if I connect all the way over to here. So the red is the bus, red bus. The energizing all the way down to here. So this would be the red bus. All the way here to here. And I'm coming into here. And just to show you, so all of these are connected. All right, but adjacent is not connected. Nor here. Nor in any of these. And that is how breadboard works. Thank you. And good luck. Look forward to talking with you shortly.